Hello everybody, what is going on? My name is Freedom. Welcome back to another video here on my channel. Today we're going to be talking through the Season 3 Battle Pass. So I'm here to talk through it all, to explain it to you guys, and to kind of really just break it down so that you guys get a better understanding of what it is that you're going to be able to earn, what it is that's coming, and like I say, what you're going to be able to get hands on. So without further ado, let's get into this video. So with Season 2 coming to a close later this week, we're here to answer your questions. So Fortnite have been answering a series of different questions, all to do with the Season 3 Battle Pass. If you're new to the Battle Pass, it's an easy way to gain loot just by playing Fortnite. So all you have to do is play the game and you can earn some in-game rewards. You can either earn it, like I say, or you can buy tiers to unlock even more rewards. So you can either earn your way through it, like with Season 2, you could earn your way all the way to the end, all 70 tiers, and then you could get your... Uh, loot at the end of it or you could buy your way through all of the tiers if you had all that money to just spend on fortnite you could spend all your money on fortnite and get all the way to the end straight away unlocking the black knight so when you buy the season 3 battle pass you'll instantly unlock a batch of great in-game rewards including the new mission specialist outfit also known as the space outfit or the space skin seen um, the past couple of days floating around the internet I've seen it myself, I've used it as a thumbnail for one of my live streams and I'm probably going to use it for a thumbnail on this video as well. So, when you buy the Season 3 Battle Pass, like I say, you'll instantly unlock that outfit. Um, as you play during the season, you unlock a series of reward tiers. So there's different tiers that you can unlock to be able to get more rewards. And the way that you unlock these is by playing the game. The more you play, the more you unlock. That is what it is. There's no like, there's no like secret way of getting the loot. You just play. That's all you gotta do. You just gotta play it again. Um, so what's different about season three battle pass? Well, there's now thirty more tiers in season three. So that makes a hundred in total. Last season we only had seventy tiers, and that was quite easy to achieve. Like, so having a hundred tiers means more loot obviously with more tears comes more loot with great power comes great responsibility a wise man once said so i'm going to now break down like everything that you're going to be able to earn including outfits pickaxes etc i'm going to break it all down for you guys to tell you exactly how many of each item you're going to be able to get and uh yeah let's go so you're going to be able to get from season three in comparison to season two you're going to be able to get six outfits from season three where you can only get four outfits in season two you're going to be able to get another three pickaxes you got three in season two as well you're going to be able to get four emotes you got four of those in season two three gliders you got three of those in season two so what's going to be different i'm glad you asked you full of good questions back blings are something that is new you're going to be getting three of those you got none of those in season two because they weren't a thing skydiving affects trails i don't know what that means but i'm guessing that when you get these you're going to be able to have your own like custom like effects from the trails as you fall down from the sky when you're skydiving um you're going to get five of those in this battle pass whereas you got zero in the last battle pass because they didn't have it loading screens i'm not really sure on what loading screens mean but you're going to get eight of those in this battle pass where you got zero in the last battle pass in the season three battle pass you're going to be able to get 23 banners you're only able to get 16 in season two and you're going to get 21 emoticons, whereas you were only able to get 16 in Season 2. Meaning that the total of the items that you're going to be able to get is 76 items from this Battle Pass. Although if there's 100 tiers, you'd think there were 100 things that you could get, right? But obviously not. But you only got 46 items in Season 2. So... Yeah, you do the math. I think it's better in Season 3 than what it was in Season 2, but that's just my personal opinion. So even though they've added an extra 30 tiers, you'll still be able to complete Season 3 in the same amount of time as Season 2. So any of you that are panicking like, oh, I'm going to have enough time to complete all 100 tiers, yes. If you complete in Season 2, Season 3 will just be, as, it'll be just as long. It's typically a 75 to 150 hours to complete the battle pass tiers but if you don't have that sort of time on your hands to plug into fortnite and just absolutely smash it you can always purchase 
a single tier for 150 V bucks each. So the new battle bundle, this is something that's brand new um, that's coming, and it's called I think it's called the battle bundle, um, and you get a battle pass plus 25 tiers, um, which is 2,800 V bucks, includes access to the battle pass and instantly unlocks your next 25 tiers, all at a 40% discount. So I'm not sure what they're working at here, but I'm sure we'll find out in just a couple of days. So now. They changed the daily challenges into weekly challenges. If you remember in season two, you were able to earn challenges every single day that had gained your battle stars to gain, obviously, tiers for the battle pass. This season, they're kind of changing it up a little bit. So it says play at your own pace. Tier up even faster by completing the new weekly challenges. Each week, a new set of seven challenges will be in place to unlock replacing the season 2's battle pass daily challenges weekly challenges stack and can now be completed any time before the season ends so if you buy a pass mid season you'll still have access to all of the previous weekly challenges you can complete 4 out of 7 weekly challenges to unlock your rewards so choose your challenges that fit your style so if you're a freaking I don't know if you're a bush wookie, go for those silenced pistol eliminations. Go for pistol eliminations because they're easy to get from shrubs and bushes, you know? However you play is however you should do this. So if I purchase the Battle Pass 2 season, do I get the Battle Pass 3? No. You don't get Battle Pass 3 from purchasing Battle Pass 2. But you get to keep all of the rewards that you earn from Battle Pass 2. So you get to keep all those rewards for yourself just to play with. And this is for if you guys don't know how to buy the Battle Pass. I'm going to talk you through how you can get yourself the Battle Pass in Fortnite. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into that. So firstly, what you want to do if you want to purchase the Battle Pass is you need to launch Fortnite. Because if you don't have the game loaded, how can you purchase it? Okay. Then you want to select Battle Royale because this is a Battle Pass, which means it's for Battle Royale. It's not Save the World. Okay, number three. You want to navigate to the battle pass tab so that means that you just want to go across by pressing r1 or l1 if you're on playstation rb or lb if you're on xbox and i'm not sure what the controls are on pc and then you want to purchase either the battle pass or the battle bundle whichever one prefer you prefer you know so what if i buy the battle pass late in the season so you will receive all the rewards up to your current level so if you start the battle if you start like playing the game when the battle pass comes out but you can't afford the battle pass don't worry too much so you get 50 levels in and then you think right now i can afford the battle pass everything that you've earned up to level 50 you will get as soon as you buy the battle pass so what if i want to get everything straight away since there are more levels in season three isn't that going to cost more to buy my way to the end yeah it does cost you more to buy to the end for the first 70 tiers you receive 70 items just like last season the ad the 30 added tiers in season 3 offer more loot than before we have designed the boosts and challenges um, so you can complete the 100 tiers of the season season 3 in the same amount of time that it took you to complete the 70 tiers of season 2 so guys you're going to be able to complete it don't worry like honestly don't worry you're going to be able to um <laughs> Like I say, complete it in exactly the same amount of time. 75 to 150 hours um, in game time is how you're going to be able to complete it. <laughs> Guys, if you want any more, like, if you want to know any more about this Season 3 Battle Pass before it comes out, be sure to do, join my Discord. If you want the link to my Discord server, be sure to leave a comment down below this video saying Discord server link. And I will reply to that comment with the Discord server link. You guys are going to have to be quick on accepting that Discord server link because the Discord server link does expire. So if you guys want to be able to get onto my Discord so that you can have a sneak peek at the... Um, if you can, if you want a sneak peek at the, um, the picture that I've got of the Battle Pass that shows you like a few bits and baps of what you can earn, then go ahead and join my Discord server. Ask me in the comments below. And with that being said, that's where I'm going to wrap this video up. So guys, if you did enjoy it, be sure to drop a thumbs up, be sure to subscribe, turn on the notifications so you don't miss any content from my channel. And with that being said, I hope you guys have a good night, a good day, wherever you are in the world. Remember, think it, be it, own it.
freedom. You squad fam.